Amigos, un momento increíble aquí en el Eurosymposium de Redken porque esta mañana estamos con Sam Villan. Sam, buenos días. Good morning, Martín. And it is a pleasure and honor to be here at the Redken Symposium here in Barcelona. A ver, estamos con el director artístico mundial de Redken y una cosa que nos sorprende es tu energía. ¿Qué haces cada mañana para poder renovar esa energía que demueles en cada día trabajado? Well, for me, it's all about the people. I believe that people buy people, then they buy things. So it's about making a connection. And then there's no better way than making a connection than having great energy. And I really believe that if you have passion and you love what you do, the energy happens naturally. A ver, esa pasión que tienes es lo que a lo mejor hace en el escenario, on stage, que la gente disfrute de tus shows, aprenda tanto y sobre todo logres esa conexión para que muchísimas de las técnicas que tú les explicas luego las apliquen en el salón. ¿Crees que hay algo que genera esa magia? I think that it's all about taking things that are complicated and making them simple. That's what I love to do. I think that a lot of times people see things, the audience sees things, and then to them it can look difficult, it can look complicated. But my goal as a teacher is to keep things simple. Martin, people think that being creative is being weird. But when you think about it, Creativity is not being weird. It's creativity is about taking the complicated and making it simple. And I believe that every hairdresser has creativity and passion in them. But it's how you make it your own. And I believe, as a teacher, I must never cease to learn. As a hairdresser, we must never cease to learn because things change and they change constantly. I believe that the past is where we learn and the future is where we apply it. Vidal Sassoon awoke the hair industry and they told him it was impossible for him to do but look at what he did for the hairdresser I want to do the same I think it has come time in the industry that we think say and do differently that is my passion at the moment tú te referiste a esta idea de la pasión a esta idea de no anclarnos en el pasado y hay muchos amigos del otro lado que a lo mejor han tenido algún cambio en el salón alguna dificultad y es probable que algunos errores. ¿Has tenido fracasos si los has enfrentado? Well, I always I think I failed so many times and made so many mistakes to be where we are today, to be where I am today. But I also believe that the industry itself is where it is today because we've broken the rules to be where we are today. So we were taught to cut things very precise, and then we discovered we could texture the hair, and that's because we wanted volume. If we kept cutting everything precise, it shape would collapse. And we have discoveries. Those discoveries are learning experiences. But see, but in order to have that discovery, sometimes you make a mistake. You know, Picasso. Picasso made so many mistakes, but look at the beauty that he was able to create by his discoveries and his learning. I really believe that in a salon, when you make a mistake, my friends, it's a learning experience. And you learn from those experiences. I also believe that a salon is not made up, it's not made up of a group of individuals. I believe that a salon is made up of a team of individuals and we can learn from each other. So if you and I are working in the salon together and I make a mistake, I want you to come over and help me with that mistake. I don't believe that as a hairdresser an ego is good to have. I think as a hairdresser you have to let go of the ego. Ego is good, but only if you manage it. And I think that if if you keep an open mind and you control your little voice that goes on in your head, I think that a learning experience can be so so positive from a mistake and when in the salon I think that it's so important to work together as a team I believe that as a team together everyone achieves more Sam, tú hablaste a ver, de esta idea de tener un sueño y de poder llevarlo a cabo conociendo tu historia tú has sido un niño que empezó muy pero muy de abajo te has enfrentado a los escenarios desde muy joven y has podido de alguna manera dominar ese ego para que ese ego no te domine a ti. 
le decimos a los amigos que pueden creer en sus sueños para poder lograr esa magia y llegar a la gente. I I really believe that everybody has a dream. I even had a dream last night. And my dream I'm living it today. And I think that when you have a dream, it can be reality. You see my friends, if I can do what I'm doing today as a teacher, you too out there, you can do it. But it takes practice. You see, you can realize a dream and you can act on the dream by doing things again, again, and again. We sit here today and it is April. August, the month of August, is going to be special because there are people that are having dreams right now and they are practice, practice, practice. They have practiced for years. The people I'm talking about are the Olympics. There are going to be names that we do not know now but they are going to become famous in August. But the reason they become famous is because they believe in their dream and they practice, practice, practice every day. As I said, if I can do this, you can do it. It becomes with passion, living your dream, and doing things over and over and over. I believe that it's important that you be like a, at home, we have a postage stamp. Be like a postage stamp. Stick to something until you master it. When you master it, find something else and stick to that. Um, estamos aquí en el Euro Symposium de Redken. Tú eres el director artístico mundial. Dinos una cosa, hay gente que trabaja con Redken y hay gente que no. ¿Qué es lo que tiene esta marca para generar en ti esta magia y estas ganas de poder contagiar a la gente a que utilice Redken en sus salones? Well, Redken has made me who I am today. You see, I've always wanted to teach, but Redken gave me the resources and the skills to know what really being a teacher is. You see, it's not about me. It's about the people that are in front of me. If I put them first, then that's important to me. It's not about how much you like me, because you must understand I'm comfortable within myself. But I, we have to understand that product is not an option. It's a necessity. In order for me to get an end result in a shape or a look, I have to understand how a product works and that's so important and with the tools that I'm making I want you to have a long career behind the chair and that's why the tools that I'm making are ergonomic we, we will change things as we go just as Redken they find and they discover things in their products and they change their products we may eliminate products and we may discover products that we want to make so that's why Redken continues to rediscover new products new products like our new volume high rise our new volume like uh, in beach envy for beach waves see these are products that we need in today's world the world is changing and as hairdressers we need to we need to continue to change I really believe that a comfort zone is dangerous I believe keeping one foot in the comfort zone and one foot out of the comfort zone. So my comfort zone is my foundation. The foot that's out is the foot that's making all the mistakes and discovering things. And when you discover things, you make, you make things happen, it makes your day. I'm sure that out there you've done a haircut that's made your day. You're probably even following it to the front desk and still cutting away. And then you go back to the break room and your colleagues are like, how'd you do that? And you're like, I don't have a clue. I just learned it. But you see, that's what I want you to do. Continue to challenge yourself behind the chair and you will discover success. Success is like chasing a butterfly. But if you ch focus on the task at hand, Success will land softly on your shoulder. Sam, uno de los mejores regalos para hacerle a un peluquero es darle recursos para que crezca. Y además de lo que es tu formación, tú has creado una línea de productos desde tus peines a tus tijeras a las navajas, diferentes herramientas que ayudan en el día a día a que el peluquero se pueda sentir que está un poco en ese escenario siendo Sam Villa o que San Villa lo está acompañando para lograr ese gran cambio en esa clienta y volverla muy pero muy feliz. Cuéntame algo de esa gran idea que son los productos San Villa. Well, some of the, the reason I created the tools was I started to have problems in my hands, so I had to develop a scissor that was ergonomically correct for my hand. The blow dryer is very lightweight. I think sometimes blow dryers can be so heavy and we're 
lifting our shoulders and elbows every day. So I felt it very important that I wanted to build tools not for money. I wanted to build tools that help the hairdresser to have a long career behind the chair. That was really important to me. I can't wait till you see my curling iron. My curling iron will be two irons in one, where it will be a Marcel iron, but you push a button and the Marcel handle come, comes off and you have a wand. You see, you have a hairdresser building tools for the hairdresser for the right reason. I believe if I focus on that and you hold me in your hand every day, when you hold me in your hand every day with a tool, know that I sit on your shoulder and I am looking out after you. And I will continue to give you education. I will continue to give you tools that are ergonomically correct for your hands. Why? Because I'm a hairdresser that cares about the hairdresser. Amigos, él es Sam Villa, un amigo que puede cambiarnos simplemente escuchándolo y pudiendo aprender de él. Debajo vamos a tener todos los datos de contacto para poder entrar a lo que es su educación online, para poder conocer más acerca de sus productos y para conocer su agenda, porque a lo mejor en algún día puedes estar aquí con él, sentado mirándolo en el escenario y disfrutando de la motivación que este hombre tiene para regalarnos cada día. Una cosa más, Sam, puedes invitar a mis amigos a que se desafíen, a que puedan realmente creer que el día de mañana puede ser mejor y que el comienzo para eso es empezar hoy. Every day is a different day and I am always happy to wake up and thank be thankful that I have two feet above the ground. But most important is this is that every day has a challenge and what's most important is people. It's about the person that sits in your chair. Remember, the people that sit in your chair are the most valuable people. They bought what you are wearing. They bought your shoes. So I want you to remember, my friends, when that client, that guest, sits in your chair, you give them 150% of being present. Give them 150% of your knowledge. And when you do that, you will continue to be a successful hairdresser standing behind the chair. But most important, when you see me at a show, I want you to know I am not a rock star. I have been doing hair for 39 years. In those 39 years, so many people have shared so many things with me. I choose to share and pay that forward and share that with you. I am not a rock star. I am not a genius. I am not a visionary. I am a hairdresser who is proud to be a teacher. And when you stand behind the chair every day, I want you to be proud that you are a teacher because you are teaching your client and you are servicing your client every day. Remember, my friends, I'm on your shoulder every day. Amigos, desde aquí, en el Euro Symposium, con San Villa, disfrutando de estos momentos super, pero super emotivos. Sam, vamos a seguir con este Euro Symposium. Yes, it's going to be a great symposium and I can't wait till the show. And Martin, I want to thank you and what you are doing for this industry. Please continue to put information out there and education. And together, let's help grow the industry.